Republican South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy. He's a member of the committee uncovering all of these documents, and they have subpoenaed Secretary Kathleen Sebelius for more. Congressman, good to see you tonight. And so, as the president was yes, out there repeatedly with the 1 800 number, he knew, he knew that that basically was just another way of sending people to the website ultimately. It's a facade. It, it, it's one of several facades, Megan. And, and, you know, the president already has a Nobel Prize for peace. I think he's shooting for one in fiction to send people to the mail instead of the website when you know that you're going in exactly the same queue is a facade. It's a Potemkin village that is calculated to mislead folks and create this appearance that everything is going swimmingly when you know otherwise. Why can't there just be honesty? Why, why can't, I mean, we just picked this up with Mark Thiessen. Why can't he just come out and say, I, I didn't tell you the truth or I broke a promise? However he wants to phrase it, I broke a critical promise and millions of Americans are hurting now tonight because of it. And this is what I'm going to do about it. We don't have that. We have, I, what I said, this, he said, what we've said was if you had a policy that didn't change. That's not what he said. And now the thing about, oh, well, you can just call the 1-800 number. Well, that, that just directs people back to the website. I could have sworn he said period at the end of that statement, and now he's added a rather lengthy footnote. The answer to your question, Meg, is I've never understood why politicians don't look at their fellow citizens and say, I made a mistake, I need you to forgive me, and it won't happen again. Uh, you know, Congress does not enjoy a very good approval rating, but nobody in government does. And part of the reason for that is instead of saying we made a mistake, even we made an intentional misstatement, we need you to forgive us. The response is uh, to evade and, and, and to answer questions falsely. And then the worst of all is, is to is to assume that the American people are stupid enough to believe the explanation that he came up with today. I always say I can never understand these politicians who forget about the magic of videotape where we have it all on camera. I mean, we know what was said. Uh, Congressman, we will watch to see what, if anything, you guys get back from Secretary Sebelius, as I know you have a subpoena waiting, and you continue to get more documents by the day. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, a stage four cancer.